Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is McKenna and in today's video, I'll be showing you how I designed this pastel cotton candy website on Shopify. This website is perfect for many different business types. So if you sell clothing, office, accessories like stickers or notebooks and more, you can follow this tutorial. This website design is also mobile responsive, so it looks perfect on mobile devices. And in today's video, I'll be using the software Shopify and Canva. If you're unfamiliar with Canva, you can set up a free account and create all kinds of graphics such as logos and web banners for your website. So without further ado, let's get straight into this tutorial. So first you're going to open Shopify and go to online store, then themes. When you scroll down, you'll see all of Shopify's free website themes and I'll be installing the original Dawn theme and this is going to be the base for our website. When you click this phone icon, it will show you how the mobile version of the website will look. And when you click this icon, it will show you how the full screen desktop version is going to look. First, I'm going to click on this header and under desktop logo position, I'm going to set this to middle center. And right here under the announcement bar, you can retitle the announcement bar text. Open theme settings, then logo. And here you can upload your logo and your favicon image straight from your computer. And under desktop logo width, you can increase the size of your logo. Click colors, then I'm going to open color scheme 4, and I'll be changing the background to a light pink color. Then I'm going to change the text to a light teal color. I'm going to change the solid button background to a purple color, and then I'm going to change this outline button to another light teal color. Then click on the header, and I'm going to set this to color scheme 4. Then I'm going to open color scheme 3, and I'm going to set the background to a pastel blue color. Then I'm going to change the text to that light teal color. I'm also going to change the solid button background to a light purple color. And I'm going to change the solid button label to the color white. Click on the announcement bar and apply color scheme 3. I'm going to open typography and I'm going to be changing this main font to the font Beefcake. Then I'm going to change the secondary font to the font Carla. When you scroll down and then scroll back up, you'll notice that the header will pop up. That is called a sticky header and right here you can remove that effect if you would like. When people click catalog, it will take them to the shop all section of your website. And when they click contact us, it will take them to your contact form. If you'd like a more custom navigation bar, here on Shopify when you open online store, then navigation, you can open your main menu and you can edit these menu items and add new menu pages. Pages. And if you'd like to hide your menu, under desktop menu type, you can apply a drawer menu. Once you're finished, that's how I designed the header portion of the website. Next, I'll be showing you how I designed this web banner section. To design this web banner section, first I'll be removing this heading text box, and I'm going to be reducing the image overlay opacity to zero. This way the web banner will appear fully opaque. Under desktop content position, I'm going to set this to bottom right. Then you can retitle this button label and select a link to a page or a product collection within your website. I'm also going to remove the outline button style. Under color scheme, I'm going to apply color scheme 4. Alright, I've opened up Canva and next I'll be showing you how I designed that main web banner. I'm going to click custom size and the dimensions I'm going to do are 4320 by 2160 pixels. First, I'll be changing the background to a pastel blue color. Under elements, I'll be searching for an abstract element, and I'm going to be uploading one of these. If you don't have Canva Pro, just be sure to use their free icons. Scroll down, and I'm going to open their image frames, and I'm going to upload one of their flower shape image frames. Then I'm going to open shapes and upload a circle shape. Then I'm going to upload an oval shape image frame. You can upload your brand and your product pictures straight from your computer. Then just drag and drop those onto those frames. Then I'm going to upload a text box, apply the font playlist script, and I'm going to change this to a light blue color. Upload another text box. I'm going to apply the font pour bandy. I'm going to change this to that purple color. Then I'm going to apply an outline to match. Then I'm going to upload a square shape. And I'm going to increase the corner rounding. Then I'm going to upload another text box, apply the font Capriola, and I'm going to use this as a text overlay. Upload one last text box, I'll be changing this to a light green color, and then I'm going to put this in uppercase, and apply an outline to match. Once you're finished, you're going to download this web banner design in a PNG format for the best quality. Here on Shopify, you can click select image, then you can upload that web banner design. Under banner height, I'm going to set this to adapt to first image. And once you're finished, that's how I designed the main web banner for the website. Next, I'll be showing you how I added the collection list. So right here, I'm going to be importing a collection list. I'm going to set this to color scheme 4. 
And under Heading, you can retitle this section. I'm going to increase the number of columns to 4. And you can enable the View All button if you have more than 4 collections. Next, when you click Select Collection, it will allow you to choose each collection you'd like to feature. Really quickly, if you're unfamiliar with collections on Shopify, they are just categories that you can assign certain products to. That way you can keep your store organized. And once you're finished, that is how I designed the collection list. Next, I'll be showing you how I designed the About Us section. So right here, I'm going to be inserting an image banner. I'm going to remove the container on desktop and the container on mobile. Then I'm going to remove the second button label. Then you can insert your text for this section. And you can retitle the button label and select a link to a page or a product collection within your website. I'm going to open Color Scheme 2 and I'll be setting this to a light pink background. I'm going to change the text to white. I'm going to change the solid button background to a light blue color. And I'm going to change the solid button label to the color white. Then for this About Us section, I'm going to apply Color Schema 2. Then I'm going to click Select Image, and you can go ahead and upload a background image for this section. I'll be using this pastel beach background image, and under Image Behavior, I'm going to apply the fixed background position. And also, in case you would like to use this exact background image for your website, I'll link the URL to this picture in my description box so you can download it. And once you're finished, that's how I designed the About Us section. Next, I'll be showing you how I designed the shop quality section. So right here, I'm going to be importing a multi-column. I'm going to remove the button label and the heading text. Then I'm going to remove the column background and I'm going to set the column alignment to center. I'm going to set this to color scheme 5. Then you're going to open color scheme 5 and I'll be setting the background to a pastel blue color. I'm going to change the text to a purple color. Then when you click on a column under heading, you can type in a quality that your shop has to offer. For an example, you can put quality materials or fast shipping. And under description, you can write a mini description to match. Here on Canva, I've opened up that same web banner page, and I'm going to click Add Page. I'm going to change the background color to a slightly darker shade of blue. Then under Element, you can search for icons to represent each of those shop qualities. And once you're finished, you can download each of these icons individually. Then you can upload each of those into the columns here on Shopify. Under Image Width, I'm going to set this to half width of column. And once you're finished, that's how I designed the shop qualities section. By the way, this Shopify theme template is available on my website. I've put together this fully done for you Shopify website template. If you're unfamiliar with Shopify templates, after your order, you'll receive it in a zip format. And here on Shopify, you can easily install that zip file into your store with just a few clicks. I've included a step-by-step -step instruction guide to help you with installing the website. And this is a full template bundle, so I've also included all of the Canva templates that you'll see me creating in this video. I've designed all of these Canva templates to be compatible with the free version of Canva. So all you'll need is a free Canva account to open edit and download these templates. This Shopify template will save you a ton of time. It's already laid out and designed for you so all you'd have to do is add your pictures and change the text. That will be linked in my description box below. Next I'll be showing you how I added the featured product collection. So right here I'm gonna import a featured collection. You're gonna set this to color scheme 4. Then under heading, you can retitle this section. Then you can select which collection you'd like to feature. For an example, most people feature their best-selling collection. And be sure to enable the view all button if that collection has more than four products. And once you're finished, that's how I added the featured product collection. Next, I'll be showing you how I designed the customer review section. So right here, I'm gonna be importing a multi-column. I'm gonna remove the button label and increase the number of columns to four. Then under Heading, you can retitle this section. Under Column Alignment, I'm going to set this to Center. Then I'm going to open Color Scheme 1, and I'll be setting the background to a pastel yellow color. Then I'm going to change the text to a light purple color. And when you click on a column, under Heading, I'll be pasting the star emojis to represent the customer's rating. And under Description is where you can paste in the customer's reviews. I'll be using this text as an example, but I'd recommend mentioning the customer's name. And right here, you can insert a link leading straight to the product they left the review on. And once you're finished, that's how I designed the customer feedback section. Next, I'll be showing you how I designed the second web banner section. So right here, I'm going to be importing an image banner. I'm going to set this to color scheme 3. Then I'm going to remove this second button label and title this first button label and select the link. Here on Canva, you're going to open up that same web banner page and click add page. I'm going to set the background to a pastel pink color. Then I'm going to upload an abstract element. Then I'm going to upload an image frame. And then you can drag and drop your brand pictures straight onto those frames. Next, you're going to upload a text box. Apply the font to Beautifully Delicious. 
Then I'm going to duplicate this and put another version on the bottom left side of the page. Then you can download this page and upload it into the image banner here on Shopify. Under banner height, I'm going to set this to adapt to first image. When you're done, that is how I designed the second web banner section. Also, if you are a beginner to Shopify and you're unfamiliar with creating products, connecting your Shopify payments, writing your shipping policies, and more, my Shopify basics guide is now available. This is a detailed guide that I've put together that breaks down everything you'll need to know from setting up your Shopify account to launching your store. In this guide, I've put together a collection of written explainers and video tutorials. That way you can easily understand each section. That will be linked in my description box. And be sure to use my code BEVERLY20 for 20% off your order. Next, I'll be showing you how I designed the email signup and the blog post section. Right here, I'm going to be importing an email signup. Then I'm going to retitle this section. Then you're going to apply color scheme 5. Next, I'm going to import a multi-row. There are three rows and I'm going to be removing the third row, but you can leave that in if you would like. And these two rows will represent your two displayed blog posts. I'm going to set the container color scheme to color scheme 4. Then I'm going to remove the outline button style. When you click on a column, under heading, you can type in the title for the blog post, and you can put a mini description and a caption to match. And then you're going to retitle the button labels, and you can paste the link leading straight to that blog post. Then you can upload images to represent the covers for those blog posts. And once you're finished, that's how I designed the email signup and the blog post section. Next, I'm going to show you how I designed the Instagram post section. Right here, I'm going to be importing a multi-column. You're going to set this to color scheme 3. Under heading, you can retitle this section. Then I'm going to increase the number of columns to 4. Then under heading and description, you can put the caption for the Instagram post that you'll be featuring. Then when you click select image, you can upload the Instagram post that you'll be featuring straight from your computer. Then you can retitle the button label and paste the link leading straight to your brand's Instagram account. And once you're finished, that's how I designed the Instagram post section. Lastly, I'll be showing you how I designed the Let's Connect section. So first, I'm going to be inserting an image banner, and I'm going to remove the text and the button labels. Here on Canva, you're going to open that same web banner page and click Add Page. Then I'm going to upload another abstract element onto the page. Then I'm going to upload a text box, and apply the font Authentic Signature. Upload another text box, and apply the font Brown Sugar. And on this page, you can put your contact and your social media details. For an example, I'll be displaying the brand phone number, email, business location, and social media platforms. I'm going to upload a text box. Then I'm going to apply the font to Glacial Indifference. For the second text box, I'm going to put this in uppercase and apply the font to Alt Tab. You can design this page however you'd like to feature which platforms you're on and which business info you'd like to display. Then you can upload that Let's Connect banner here on Shopify. And once you're finished, that is how I designed the Let's Connect section. Alright, and here is the finished Shopify website. Don't forget, this Shopify themed template is available on my website. This is a fully pre-made Shopify website template. If you're unfamiliar with Shopify templates, after your order, you'll receive it in a zip file format. And here on Shopify, you can easily install that zip file into your store with just a few clicks. This will save you a ton of time from having to do all of this from scratch. And I've included a step-by-step -step instruction guide to help you with installing and editing this template. This is a full template bundle, so I've also included all of the Canva templates that you've seen me putting together in this video. I've designed these Canva templates to be compatible with the free version of Canva. All you'll need is to set up a free Canva account to open and edit these. And that will be linked in my description box below. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you're interested in another style of Shopify website, check out this video here on my channel.